Hi there. Are you guys tired of these plain Jane train stations? Well, here at Infixit Incorporated, we're looking for new ideas to make your life satisfactory. That's right, people. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can build these nice looking platforms on your train stations too. So you are going to need beam connectors, metal or painted beams, basic walls, uh, catwalk straights and catwalk stairs. And you will also need some modern railings as well just to cap the ends off if you need if you want to. So we're going to get straight into it and grab ourselves beam connectors which we are going to have one of them which as you can see here will be sat just under there and one of them a bit of ways as you can see then we're going to switch to the beam itself go two meters up on both then we go across now i only do this just so it looks um you know less weird anyways put some toppers on them and then we do runs it's not going to go all the way so i'll stop it there and carry it on to about there then we're going to go down on that one go across to go up to you guys have probably found an easier, quicker way to do this. Uh, this is just how I've found it to work out. Now, what I tend to do with these end caps here is I tend to fill them all in like this. That last one's not going to do it, so we do one straight up there, there. And if you guys don't know how to do that, you can just easily copy something from what you're looking at by looking at it and pressing the middle mouse button. So here we go, we end up with a nice looking end. Let's go back to the beam connectors, get this other side sorted out, oh too far, too far. So that there, and there we go. Right, that's that top side sorted, and we're just going to also do this bottom side real quick. Because if you don't get the bottom side, you will not be able to use your walls to fill in the gaps. Realistically, you could use these all the way through, but I just like the, the look of the bottom with it like that. And I filled the wrong side in by look, right? I filled the back side in, but not the front. No, I have actually done it right. I'm an idiot. Anyways, so now we come to filling it in. So we get it done here, and then we zoop all the way along. Now, if you find yourself having a gap at this side, don't don't fret about it, because usually you'll end up with a gap like that at one side. You can simply just look at the actual uh, beam because of soft clearance we're able to make it look as good as we can. So now, let me just copy this. Wrong thing, there we go. Now, you'll find that you'll have a bit of a hangover on it. So, to get rid of that, we just put one small beam there. So it looks like it's going across, and then we can just simply pull it back a step. Zoop your way. The same applies to this one. You don't want that hangover. If you don't, simple as do that. Grab a beam and do the same as you've done before. And now when you pull it back a bit, you do end up with a hangover, but then you can just go to architecture, go all the way down to modern railings. And just plug it at the end with a modern railing. Right, so what I actually do here as well with the light system is I place one at the start of the train station at an angle facing inwards. You 
don't want to put them straight because then the lighting just starts acting weird. And then I try to leave a bit of a gap in between them. So like that one's there. It's all nicely lit up, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> when I've gone too far. But I also decide to put these next to the trains just to get rid of the look of the thing. So we copy that, we wait till we get like a nice point on it. Take it as far down as you possibly can. Which sometimes doesn't want to play when you're doing the freeform. today is it there we go and then you just rotate with your mouse wheel and there you go you get a nice sleek look and there you have it ladies and gentlemen a better runway just a quick advisory as well what I do here is I get the T crossing make a space get a T crossing fit it in so the railing is actually sat at the uh, part facing and then grab some stairs. I like that. Apologies. And there we go. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you find this video helpful. And I hope you end up making things in Satisfactory much better. I want to wish everybody, all the Fixit Pioneers, a uh, Merry Fixmas. Hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next video.